Hey guys, my name is Tyus. What I wanna do is talk about equivalence relations. The point of the video is to give a real life example of what an equivalence relation is. And the first thing that I wanna do is break down what an equivalence relation is. Well, you have the word equivalence, meaning equal, and relation, which means I think of it as relationship. You need two things to have a relationship. So we're taking two things and we're setting them equal to each other, even if they're not necessarily the same thing. So what we're about to get into is more so to give a real life example for people who already have worked with equivalence relations, but if you haven't, don't worry, because maybe this will give you some intuition on what it is. So the equivalence relation that I would like to demonstrate is the height of myself and my younger brother. So. Let's review really quick what makes up an equivalence relation. Well, we need to have the three following properties, reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. So if we're talking about height between me or myself and my younger brother, I need to be the same height as myself in order to be reflexive. That's what reflexive is. And I'm pretty sure that I'm the same height as myself, although I've never actually stood back to back with myself. Who are you? I'm Tyus. You're me. You're me. Whatever, I don't have time for this. As you can see, we are the same height. So this equivalence relation would be reflexive. All right, now, in order to be symmetric, myself and the thing that I am relating to or trying to relate to, said equivalent to, must be the same height. That's, that's symmetry, you can think of it. It has to be symmetric. So me and that other variable, say I'm X and my younger brother is Y, need to be the same height in order to be symmetric by definition. So the second property that we said we needed to an equivalence relation was symmetric. So if I'm comparing the height to my younger brother, let's go get him and see if we're symmetric, yeah? And in order to be symmetric, we have to be the same height. How tall are you? Six feet. Perfect. Come on. With me. Okay. And... Yep. He is six feet indeed, folks. So that means we're symmetric. And we have two knocked out. We're reflexive. I'm the same height as myself. Shooting a cool math video. And oh, okay. number two, we're symmetric. <laughs> so, wait. I'm still going to need you because... We're gonna bring in a third variable. In order to be transitive, he needs to be the same height as some other person. And basically, if he's the same height as some other person, then ideally I should be the same height as that other person too. And we have an equivalence relation. So let's go find some other person. So we found our third person, the mighty Frenchie. And as you can see, she is indeed the same height as my younger brother. So I have to be the same height as the mighty Frenchie. It would be physically impossible for me not to be the same height as the Frenchie if I'm the same height as my younger brother. All right, now that we have all three checked off, it means that we have an equivalence relation. And say we didn't have one of those three things. Say that my younger brother was not the same height as that cute little French bulldog named Venti, or say I was not the same size as my younger brother, or if for some odd reason I was not the same height as myself, then it would just be a relation. We would have a reflexive relation, a symmetric relation, or a transitive relation. We wouldn't have an equivalence relation. It needs those three things in order to call it an equivalence relation. So I hope you learned something. I hope this provided a real life example of equivalence relations because there really is a lot of logic in the real world that uses these kind of things. And so today we did prove that I am related to my younger brother, which you probably already knew, in height though. We're related in height. Thanks for watching.